Good Thursday afternoon to you. I hope that you're having a good afternoon. And uh, probably uh, with all the different things that uh, our governor has told us, our president has, has told us, uh, you may be thinking, man, we, we're in this another 30 days, another 60 days, um, longer, depending on what talking head you're listening to. But I want to encourage you uh, to put your hope in the Lord, not in uh, those folks, we, we want to pray for those folks. They're leading and leading well from the front lines. Um, but they're, they're just giving best guesses at this point. So, so keep your hope in the Lord uh, in this time. Uh, let me give you a scripture that, um, that I hope will be an encouragement to you. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Um, verse 16 says, Do not lose heart. Though our elder self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Listen, and be encouraged in the Lord. Don't, don't let these things get you in your head and, and just worry and stew, but trust the Lord through this. Trust His promises. I like what Hebrews chapter 10 and 32 and following reminds us of to, to look to the, to the earlier days, the days that God has worked in our lives in, in great ways before and remember those days, find hope in those days. Those are assurances for us that God is still at work. He worked then and he'll work now. Put your hope in the Lord and uh, be encouraged, my friends. Uh, God's got this, and we're going to walk through this uh, and see him do something through it and on the other side uh, to his glory and for our good. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.